Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I am going to discuss answer to the question mentioned in the previous video. The question is, does Python have switch case statement? The answer is no. Python does not have a switch case statement. Next question is, can we create a switch case statement in Python? Or how do you write a switch case statement in Python? We can implement switch case statement using dictionaries and py functions in Python. So I have just created a dictionary with two key value base. So this is similar to the switch statement mentioned here. So get is a function which is used to fetch the value specified for the key. So if you pass one as an option, one will be printed to the output. And if you pass two as an option, two will be printed to the output. And if you pass different value other than one or two, default case will be printed to the output. This is similar to the default case present in other languages switch case statement. Let me run this example and show you how it will work. So let me run this program. Before that, I want to print the value. I have passed one as an option. So one, will, one is printed in the output. Suppose if I modify this value, if I pass two as an option, then two will be printed in the output. And if I pass a different value other than one and two, see the default case is printed in the output, similar to the default case present in the switch case statement of other languages. Let's see another example, which shows how you can create a switch case statements using dictionaries and functions. So I'm going to implement a simple calculator, which performs addition, subtraction, and multiplication of uh, two numbers based upon the option you enter. So let me run this program. So it just uh, printed the menu and uh, the, it is asking it is asking you to enter the elements so i'm entering the elements first element and second element now it is prompting for the option option is nothing but the operation that you need to perform on those two numbers so suppose if i enter plus addition of two numbers should be written okay it has written error so let me remove this let me run this program so now it ran successfully now we need to implement a function for this options so first let me create a dictionary for this Now uh, the dictionary is implemented and uh, now I'm going to implement a function which picks up the correct operation based upon the option that we passed. Let me implement that function. Now the function is completed. Let me run this program and see. Okay, we need to define three functions, uh, each for uh, addition, subtraction, and multiplication. I'm going to implement the functions. Def and
let me run this program. Something for elements. I'm going to do one and two. Option as star. I didn't get anything. Why? Oops, we didn't call the function. So we need to call this function with the option. So let me call this function here. So I'm going to print it, return value. Now let me run this function. Okay. And I'm going to enter the values. One, two, two, and option as star. So, so I got two as output. Let me explain the logic here. When we call the calc function with the option, so control V, control will come here. And here we are trying to fetch the value associated with the option. I have passed star as an option. So the value associated with the star is MUL. So MUL is written and stored in the func variable. And here we are trying to call the function. So func variable is having MUL value. The MUL of A comma B function will be called. So it comes here and written A star B. The same thing we can implement using lambda functions too. Instead of uh, implementing the normal function, we can achieve the same thing using lambda functions too. So let me show you how we can achieve that. So I'm going to comment this normal function definition part. And I'll replace these things with the lambda functions. Run this program and show you. So I'm going to enter L first number as five and second number as three, and I'm going to enter option as plus C. The value is eight. So this is how you can implement the case switch case statement using dictionary and functions in Python. That's all with this video. I hope you like this video. If you did, please subscribe and support my channel. Thank you.